Did you know that the average person uses 100 rolls of toilet paper per year? That's about 20,000 sheets. Quite a surprising fact, isn't it? This humble roll plays an integral part in our everyday lives, often unnoticed until it runs out. Toilet paper has a significant impact from our personal hygiene to the environment. But have you ever stopped to wonder how it's made? What journey does it take from tree to your bathroom? Now let's dive into the fascinating process of how this essential item is made. The journey of toilet paper starts in the forest with trees. Yes, you heard that right. Our everyday essential, the humble toilet paper, begins its life as a mighty tree. The journey from tree to toilet paper is a fascinating one, filled with complex processes and ingenious machinery. So, let's talk about the raw material. Wood. The type of wood used typically depends on the region, but generally softwood trees like pine and spruce are preferred. These trees are chosen for their long fibers, which give the toilet paper its strength. Once the trees are felled, they are transported to the mill where they are stripped of their bark. This bark isn't wasted though, it's often used as a biofuel to help power the mill. The debarked logs are then chopped into small chips. These chips are not just any ordinary wood chips. They are about the size of a coin and are the key to unlocking the fibers within the wood. Now comes the transformation. The wood chips are cooked in a chemical solution at high pressure and temperature. This process, known as pulping, breaks down the lignin that binds the wood fibers together. The result is a mushy, oatmeal-like substance called wood pulp. The wood pulp is then washed, screened, and sometimes bleached to remove any remaining lignin, impurities, or color. The end product is a clean, fluffy white pulp that is the perfect raw material for making toilet paper. So, the trees are now transformed into wood pulp, ready for the next stage. With our wood pulp ready, it's time to turn this mushy material into paper. In a process that feels like a bit of magic, this wood pulp is transformed into the paper we know and use every day. The first step in this transformation is bleaching. Now, bleaching isn't just about turning the pulp white. It also plays a crucial role in removing any remaining linen a natural substance in wood that could cause the paper to turn yellow over time. The pulp is mixed with chemicals like chlorine dioxide or hydrogen peroxide, which not only brighten the pulp but also break down the lignin. Once the pulp is bleached, it's time to dry it out. The pulp, which is still about 95% water at this point, is sprayed onto a large screen. Here, water begins to drain away and the pulp starts to form a thin layer. This layer is then pressed between large rollers to squeeze out even more water, but we're not quite done yet. The next step is a trip through a large, heated dryer, which evaporates any remaining moisture, leaving us with a dry, flat sheet of paper. Now, if you've ever noticed that one side of your toilet paper is a bit shinier than the other, you're not imagining things. After the paper is dried, it's passed over a series of heated metal rollers in a process called calendaring. This gives the paper its smooth finish and can make one side slightly shinier than the other. And there you have it. What started as a soupy mixture of wood pulp has now been bleached, dried, and flattened into a continuous sheet of paper. But don't start reaching for this paper just yet. It's still a bit too rough for comfort. And voila, we've got paper, but we're not quite done yet. The next steps will ensure that the paper is soft, absorbent, and ready to be turned into the toilet paper we all rely on. So stick around, because the journey from tree to toilet paper is full of surprises. Ever notice those pretty patterns on your toilet paper? That's the result of embossing. Embossing is a fascinating process that lends not only aesthetic appeal to your toilet paper but also enhances its functionality. The embossing process starts after the paper has been dried and cut into appropriate widths. The paper then moves through engraved steel rolls, which press patterns onto the paper. These patterns aren't just for show. They have a crucial role in making the toilet paper softer, stronger, and more absorbent. The pressure applied during embossing creates small pockets of air. These pockets increase the paper's capacity to absorb liquid, which is quite important for toilet paper. The embossing also makes the paper feel softer to the touch, an appealing factor for most consumers. But how is the pattern created? Well, the pattern is determined by the design on the steel rolls. The rolls have tiny protrusions that create the design when pressure is applied. These designs can range from simple dots and waves to intricate floral patterns. It's a blend of engineering and artistry, making each roll of toilet paper a little masterpiece. Additionally, the embossing process also helps in joining together the two layers of paper that make up each sheet of toilet paper. This adds to the strength of the paper, ensuring that it doesn't tear easily when used. Now that our paper is embossed, it's time to roll it up. We're now at the final stage, 
where our paper transforms into the familiar roll of toilet paper. After the embossing process, we move on to the step where the paper is wound onto cardboard tubes. Imagine a large spool, spinning at a speed fine-tuned to ensure the perfect tension and thickness of each layer. This is an intricate dance of precision and speed, ensuring that each roll is consistent in its size and quality. The paper winds around these tubes, creating giant logs of toilet paper. These logs are so large they could dwarf a grown adult. But don't worry, they won't stay that size for long. These colossal rolls are then moved to the cutting stations. Here, sharp blades, as precise as a surgeon's scalpel, slice through the logs, transforming them into the familiar-sized rolls we all know and use. The sliced rolls are then moved onto the packaging stage. A machine, not unlike a gentle giant, picks up each roll and places them into plastic packages. These packages are then sealed, ensuring the rolls stay clean and fresh until they reach your home. But the journey doesn't end there. These packages are then stacked onto pallets, ready to be shipped out to stores all over the world. Each package, each roll, represents a journey, a transformation from raw tree pulp to a product that we use every day. The creation of toilet paper is a process that combines the power of machinery with the precision of finely tuned processes. It's a dance of raw materials and technology, resulting in a product that is both simple and essential. It's a testament to human ingenuity, creating comfort and hygiene from something as basic as a tree. And there you have it, from tree to toilet paper roll, ready for your bathroom. The next time you reach for a roll, take a moment to appreciate the journey it has taken to get there. You're not just holding a roll of toilet paper but a marvel of modern manufacturing. Who knew that the humble roll of toilet paper had such an intriguing journey? It's been quite an adventure, hasn't it? We started with a surprising fact that made us all look at this everyday item in a whole new light. How often do we stop and think about the processes that make our lives comfortable? Not often, I guess. Now let's take a brief stroll down memory lane. We began with the raw material, wood pulp. This natural resource is the backbone of toilet paper production. To think that the trees around us could one day end up in our bathrooms is quite something, isn't it? The pulp undergoes a series of processes including cleaning, bleaching and drying to make it just right for the next stage. And what a stage it was, from pulp to paper that's where the magic really happened. We saw how the pulp was transformed into a huge paper sheet, thanks to a series of rollers and heaters. This paper was then wound onto enormous reels, each one holding enough paper to make more than 10,000 toilet rolls. Can you imagine? Then came the art of embossing, the process that gives toilet paper its soft, cushiony feel. Who knew that those tiny bumps and patterns had such a crucial role to play? They not only provide the much-needed comfort but also add strength to the paper. The embossed paper was then wound onto smaller reels, ready for the final transformation, the final roll, the culmination of a journey that began with a simple tree. We saw how the paper was cut into the perfect width for a toilet roll and wound onto a cardboard tube. The rolls were then sliced into the right size and packaged, ready to be shipped to stores around the world. So there you have it, the fascinating journey of toilet paper, from the forest to the factory to your home. It's a process that involves science, art, and a lot of attention to detail. Just think about it. Every time you use a roll of toilet paper, you're holding a product of incredible innovation and hard work. Next time you reach for a roll, remember the fascinating process that brought it to your home. Thanks for watching.